Hello everyone, my name is Eddie Valdez and today I'll be showing you guys how to install Windows 8.1 on a Mac with a CD drive using Boot Camp. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get a copy of Windows 8.1 with a product key. If you go out to a store, make sure you are getting the full version of Windows. The upgrade is only used to upgrade from an older version of Windows. The full version installs Windows on a new computer, which is what we are doing today. So now, once you open up your uh, Windows 8.1 box, you will find a welcome guide here. Uh, you don't really need that. And you'll also find a 32-bit and a 64-bit version of Windows. Uh, you will not need the 32-bit version of Windows. You only need the 64-bit version. And you'll also find a little card here that has a picture of a key. Uh, this is your product key. The number's on the back. Uh, I'm not going to show you the number, but this activates your copy of Windows. So once you have your uh, product key and uh, the 64-bit version of Windows, you can... The next thing you need to do, actually, is find a flash drive with at least 2 gigabytes in storage. Uh, the flash drive will be used to install the Windows support software that Boot Camp will install for you. So once you have the 64-bit version of Windows 8.1, a product key, and a flash drive with at least 2 gigabytes of storage, we can now begin with Boot Camp. So the easiest way to get to Boot Camp is to go to the top right hand corner and click on the spotlight icon. Then type in Boot Camp. Then click on Continue. Now, if you are installing Windows 8.1 using a disk like me, you can skip the first task. The first task makes a Windows 8.1 install disk with a flash drive or external hard drive using a Windows 8.1 ISO file that you have to download on your computer. The tasks I'll be focusing on are the last two tasks since I have a disk. The second task installs the Windows support software onto your flash drive, and the third task splits your hard drive into a Mac partition and a Windows partition and also installs Windows. Now to get started, first you'll need to insert the Windows install disk. Make sure you put in the 64-bit version and not the 32-bit version of Windows 8.1. Next, if you don't already have the Windows support software on the flash drive, uh, check the last two tasks and insert your flash drive and click on continue and continue again. Since I've already installed the Windows support software on my flash drive, I'll only check the last task uh, to partition my hard drive and install Windows 8.1. Now decide how big you want your Windows partition to be. I'm going to leave about 300 gigabytes on my Mac partition and give 200 gigabytes to my Windows partition. You can also divide your hard drive equally by clicking on the Divide Equally button, but it just depends on how you want to split your hard drive. Once you are happy with the way you are partitioning your hard drive, click on Install. This step may take some time, but eventually your computer will, will restart into a Windows installation screen. Alright guys, looks like the setup is starting. Okay, so now we are in the Windows 8 installation screen. Um, <clears throat> let me begin by selecting my language. Okay, that's good. Time and currency, that's good. Keyboard or input method, okay, that's good. Click next when you are done. All right, guys, so now this is the part where you have to put in your product key. Uh, it's just a number on the back of this card. All right, click on next again. accept the license terms and click next again okay so now on this part uh, make sure you click on the partition that says boot camp um, make sure it's highlighted uh, once it's highlighted click on format and click OK once it's formatted um, your uh, computer should have the same partition selected um, if you want to make sure, just make sure it's like about the same size. I had mine at like 200 gigabytes. Um, you can see that it once it's formatted, it dropped a little bit, but it should stay pretty close. So, uh, yeah, this is the same partition that I just formatted. So once it's formatted, click on Next. And then now it will start installing Windows. This step will take a lot of time, so give it some time, guys. Alright guys, looks like my computer will be restarting right now. 
to finish the installation. Alright guys, yep. Time to personalize my computer, so I guess right now just pick a color that you might like. Kind of like that one. Uh, name or PC, I'm just going to put in my name. And then click next. Alright, so now it's wondering if I want to use Express Settings or if I want to customize it. I'm just going to click on uh, Express Settings, uh, select whatever you want. Um, username, I'm just going to quickly put Eddie. Uh, and I'm not going to select a pass or put in a password. And click Finish. Okay, finalizing your settings. Oh, oh, wait for it, wait for it. There we go, guys. We finally have our uh, start screen for Windows 8, finally. So now that once once we are here, we have one more step to do. We have to go to the desktop, and we need to install our boot camp drivers. So I just put in my flash drive in. Um... Let's see, let's open the folder. Okay, uh, open up the boot camp folder here. Like that. And then click setup. Okay, then hit yes. Alright, welcome to the boot camp installer. Hit next. Click I accept the terms in the license agreement and hit install So this may take some time guys All right, it looks like it has finished finally so just hit finish and Then it's asking for you to restart your computer, so you should probably do that now All right guys, it looks like everything installed correctly we should probably check the device manager to make sure that everything installed correctly. So, begin by going to the control panel, then click on hardware and sound, and then click on device manager. Alright, and it doesn't appear like anything is going wrong right now. There's no uh, warning signs or anything. Everything seems to be working correctly. Alright guys, it looks like everything is working correctly, so that means our installation of the bootcamp drivers worked. Um, and yeah, guys, we are all done. Alright guys, well I hope you guys enjoyed that video tutorial. I hope it was easy for you guys to follow. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them below in the comment section. Uh, if you guys have any other recommendations, also leave them below. Um, otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and always stay real guys. Peace.